All right, it's the next video. So uh, we can keep translating expressions. On translating expressions, we needed to know what terms were. Um, we need to know what terms were. We need to know what power was for us to start working on um, some things. So when we're translating expressions, um, what we're going to do is we're going to go from an algebraic expression, which means we're going to be dealing with terms, numbers, letters, any kind of variables that we want to work with, and we're going to translate them into a verbal or words. And then, then we're also going to work on working on a verbal or a written uh, expression and then translating that into something that's dealing with numbers and variables. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, I'm gonna actually start with some keywords and I've kind of written these down for us to remember how to uh, translate some things. So let's first talk about addition. Now, when you guys are working on word problems, a lot of, one of the hardest things to, in word problems is to try to decipher what they mean when, they're, when you're reading it out. What do they mean when they say this and say that? So what we're gonna work on is uh, figure out what do they mean, how do we use addition in our problems. So the first thing is more than. That's giving us a signal that we need to use addition or addition is being used. More than, some, plus, increased by, and added to. So when you're reading a problem or anytime you, you know um, you look at something and they're using these keywords, um, this is telling you either addition is being used or that it needs to be used. Uh, for subtraction, you're gonna wanna use less than, uh, subtracted from, uh, I'll write that one next. How about difference? Subtracted from, and I'm trying to write as fast as possible so this video is not too long. So I'm going to write. So my handwriting is not going to be too bad. Um, let's do minus and decrease by. Then we have multiplication. I'm going to bend down. Let me get this one. Multiplication is product. Of multiplied by times and the single word of and division. I hope everything can be seen on this video. Division is quotient of and divided by. Let me go check my video real quick. Make sure. Awesome. I'll move this thing out of the way. So those are some of your keywords uh, that we can go ahead and use. So let's say I give you a problem and I say, please translate um, 2A plus 6. So what does 2A plus 6 mean? Well, what is 2A? Good afternoon, faculty. If you could make your way to the auditorium, we'd like to get started with the meeting ASAP so we can get you in, get you some information, and send you home. Have a great day. All right, I got to run. So what does this 2A mean? Well, what this means is um, we there's no addition. It doesn't mean addition. It doesn't mean subtraction. It doesn't mean division. By cancer right now, it means multiplication. Whenever you have... Uh, remember, um, whenever you have um, a number next to a variable, we're implying that multiplication is being used. So when I'm saying multiplication, I can use, I can say two, or say, just say the product of two and a number. I'm not gonna say A, I wanna say a, a number because A represents a number um, in this expression. And remember, this is an algebraic expression. There's a term, and there's a term. Sorry, I'm trying to talk a little fast because I gotta run. So we could say the product of two and a number. You could say two multiplied by a. Uh, you could say two times a number, or you could say uh, two of a. Well, two of a. Uh, let's go and see probably right. So I'm just gonna say two multiplied. Let's write it out. Two 
multiplied by a, or by a number, and then I'm going to use addition, so I could say more than 6, uh, you could say increase by 6, or add it to 6, you could also say plus 6, or you could just say, um, you know, the sum of, six, of 2 times a number and 6. But I would have to write that first. So I'd say 2 multiplied by, by a number plus 6. The next thing I'll work on is, well, what if I did a problem like this? Oh. Um, let's do... Uh, So if I was going to translate this to a verbal expression, first of all, I have a number. That number is raised to a power. A lot of times when it's raised to a power of 2, we say it's squared. Uh, so we could say a number raised to the power of 2 is divided by 3. So in division, I also could say the quotient of a number squared and 3. But I'm going to say for this one, I'm going to say a number squared divided by 3. Um, and... Well, minus 4. So a number squared divided by 3 minus 4. And what you guys will be able to notice is there's a lot of different ways we can use these words to represent uh, our algebraic expression. Um, you know, because you could also say, uh, uh, if you're gonna use, but you gotta be careful, because if you're gonna use subtracted from, you'd have to say a um, four subtracted from this uh, term right here, and you'd have to go and spell that term. Because you just, you can't say, you know, a number squared divided by three subtracted from four, because that would actually have to be the other way around. Or you can't say uh, less than four, because um, actually it's, uh, or you have to say it's, yeah, this is actually less, or no, sorry, four is less than this uh, term over here. So you really have to kind of be careful on when you're, how you're using uh, the subtraction and, I'm sorry, subtraction and addition. Actually not addition, but just subtraction. Because those, remember, the order of how you say your numbers or how you subtract your numbers actually matters. So you have to be very careful on how you're using those. But besides that, that's just a general expression from translate to expression. On the next video, I'll work on actually going from uh, a verbal expression back over to a uh, algebraic expression.